Mail. Face. Uh. And yes, I have played this game before. That's why I'm doing this. Probably do. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we'll do light brow. Words. All right. Feel like that's fair. That's good. This game is made by um Obsidian Entertainment and some other people. Um, there we go. Actually, let's make it realistic. Make me look too ugly. <laughs> more like more. Don't want to make me look too realistic. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, now hair. Hairstyle. Uh. Sue this. Gotta get a nice blonde color. Where's the blonde? At least dirty blonde. That's dirty blonde, right? I'll go with that. That too. We can add some facial hair. Probably this. Perfect. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, that has to be. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that definitely has to be. Blonde. Yeah, that's blonde. Alright. Features. Dirt. Excuse that. Oh, I'm beautiful. <laughs> There we go. Alright. What's my name? Liam. No, I can't do that. Alright, uh, let's do... What was that? <laughs> Bug. Bug. Hashtag. Eight nine two. That's perfect. All right. Handed melee. Uh. All right. Yeah, we should be good for now. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Uh-oh. Cutscene. Please power down your engines. <coughs> Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Is that what it's called in this universe? Skip jump. Chewie, hit the hyperdrive! 
Terra 2. We're baked our first world. <laughs> Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. It's drive. Shit. Oh, that's not very nice. Sorry for the bad word in there. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. Right. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Right. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really mm -hmm. more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body mm -hmm. full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Alright, well, the last of my that doesn't sound very you. good. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Hmm. Alright, so I've played through this part, so I'm probably going to get to the place that I got, and maybe stop, or I'm going to keep on going. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. Mm. I'm uh, all <laughs> All right. We got this. Oh, ow, my head. <coughs> Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Mm. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole yeah, squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I have to press off, sorry. Alright. That doesn't look very good. Anything in this stuff? Alright. <coughs> For those of you like me. Oof. For those of you who are new, like me, um, 
this game is basically kind of like Bella. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's uh. bound to be unforeseen side effects. <laughs> Heck just happened. Ow, my leg! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Jeez. Hey, you, come here. <clears throat> You've tried the best now. <clears throat> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. All right, sit still. I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Yep, all right. How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh -huh. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded oh. their spacecraft out with in the guns? open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. <coughs> See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hey. Hey, I've got an, a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll get help. Go get help. <clears throat> yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got God, some spare I don't ammo. Know why I couldn't see not that. counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Alright. I'm off. See a noob. Damn it, my ears! Oh. Noob. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Oh. So I know what that does. Due to complications, blah blah blah. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what it does. Basically slows down time. So you can easy. Shot. Let's just loot this stuff before he realizes that he can't shoot. Come on. Just wait. Where can I loot your body? <coughs> right now I can loot this. Alright. Enemy killed. area should be cleared <coughs> of any pieces of garbage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, um, wow, that guy got nailed in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't think his head is supposed to be that far over. Um, How do you access your inventory? <sighs> I don't know how to access the inventory because I forgot. <coughs> oh, 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 hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Uh -huh. 
just like a man to heal myself. Don't know where you came from, stranger. <coughs> best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in a veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. Your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my uh, breath and uh, stretch my legs some. <laughs> Do space choice guard back down from a challenge? Lie, I bet you could get these marauders to tell you that where the owner of the of that ship is. I guess I'll uh have to give you a zero a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Uh huh. Well that's fun. Um well, sometimes management's <coughs> real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Hey. Here we go. No bad words. No now I have cover. Get jump shot right in the forehead. Come on. Forgot how to change weapon. Here, I'll just heal myself for no freaking reason. Oh, they're dead. Noob. <coughs> Alright, that's something. Um, kind of confused. Ah, here it is. There we go. Alright, what's this? Oh, DPS. All right. <clears throat> I want that. And then Century Saber. All right. All right. Sorry that I'm a noob. <sighs> All right. Um We've already found Hawthorne's ship. It's right here. There we go. All right. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. All right. That's fine. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Alright. Jefferson procedures initiated. Oh, Disengaging yeah. airlocks. Prepare <coughs> to inject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. Do you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <coughs> I have been programmed to express. Disappointment. Alright. I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oof. You see, Hawthorne's dead. I I'm understand. Sorry. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? 
Well done, Captain Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Uh. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new mm. captain's identity cartridge. Please <clears throat> try not to lose it this time. Right. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, Best yeah. of luck in your search Got for it, a thanks. power regulator. Alive this time. All right. We should be good now. Ooh. Oh, I thought lady comes up a lot. Um. Medical. Leadership. Cranged. Twice. Tech twice. There we go. All right. All right. Now. All right. Here we are. So, I'm thinking, uh, Cheetah would be, uh, the best thing to do. Alright. Uh, hold on. I still have something in skills? Yeah. Oh, crap, that's why. Yeah, alright, so let me do this. One, two. Two, three, four. Three, four. There you go. Apply. There we go. Alright, now, journey. Alright, we have to find the power rig. Oh god. Sorry, I'm new to this game. Alright. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, you've got it all wrong. I'm the Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. All right, well, we got out of that. But it's gonna take a lot more persuading to get that's that. I'm guessing that those are probably our best bet on getting powerful, so I might side with some. Or I'll just side. Like, I don't know how this game huh? works. I get, get guided. Back here. Hey. <coughs> uh, uh. Oof. Are you okay? You okay, man? You okay? Okay. He 
Actually, we could find something good on these. Uh, well, never mind. We can't find anything good on them. <coughs> Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Oh ho ho. Yeah, this thing is. It looks amazing, honestly. Whoa, Can't say hey. it is, yeah. Okay, corporate trooper. Alright. Corporate, I think, actually. I don't know. Uh, alright. I'm not sure if there's gonna be factions or something. I know that there's western places. Which I'm gonna really like because Yeah, just just yeah. Forward dodge. Alright, Emerald Vale. Pretty sure that's actually what we are, because because I'm pretty sure in my last playthrough I talked to that guy a little bit more. Right. Oh, it's a terminal. Let's read this thing. Notice the Edgewater Saltoon Tuna. Yeah, not tuna. Canning facility facility strictly adheres to spacers choice standards of health and safety. Schedule your sick leave with your spacers choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considerate toward other members of the Spacer's Choice family allowed two of uh, four weeks two to four weeks to process the and approve your scheduled sick leave. Alright, I can't read so <laughs> you guys could read that if you want to. Make sure I'm on the checkage where I'm steering this stuff. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Now. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. The grease oh, monkey, hi. Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. All right. Must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uniform? What are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company-approved colors, the, uh... Honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Let's skip this small talk. I've got a shit in need of power. Only right regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way.
When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Mm -hmm. All right. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting mm -hmm. you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great. I could use the I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Now we have her as a partner. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. This is about desert, the deserters. So what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. The town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. I Thanks, it mister. Hurt. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Alright. You coming? This is, uh, oh, I could take that necklace, but I'm not going to. I wonder if, like, you take anything. Okay, keep them quiet. She didn't do anything about it, so... Alright, sorry about that. The cut there.
Oh, man, there's people there. I'm going to leave this place. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I'm not gonna take that. Um, oh! <laughs> Wait, is that something I have? Yeah, that is, I think, actually. Maybe. Buy. I wanna buy this stuff. But I don't know how. Oof. I don't have enough. Wow, this thing uh, sells or buys way more than it sells. Or it sells way more than it buys, I guess. that we need all right now we can buy this headpiece Confused where to go. All right. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. I need to talk to their boss. So yeah, I'll go there. Wherever I'm going. So tuna cannery. Perfect. Gosh, I just got the best idea ever. Alright, after this video, I'm gonna ask you guys something. I'm gonna put a poll up top there, and you guys can click on it. Uh, should I do a Fallout series, yes or no? And of course, I'll blurb. I'll bleep out all the when bad words. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. 
love the wind here. Alright, so... Okay. I think... Edgewater, I think. Oh, don't like that mantis swarm. I mean, I like, I like the mantis. Oh, well, they're that small. I think I feel like that's even worse because uh, what if they bite? detail of head. Yeah, those things are tiny, so I don't think we're gonna have to worry about them. If they were bigger, though. Oh, that's the botanical lab. That means I would have to go right here. Mm-hmm. Victor Max. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Here's Victor Max. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Alright. <clears throat> whatever. I uh, wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Fix the ge geothermal plant. Cut off the power to... Yeah, I think. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Mm -hmm. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. So Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. A handsome... a handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark oh, where I, I saw it on your map. Money. Assuming yeah. you're serious? I'll look for your Thank book. Thank you. <laughs> if you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I said that wrong. Alright, brother. Wrong way. Again. Me, big stinky. Something got you down? I 
Botanical Lab. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. Hopefully, I don't die. Uh, hey, brother. I want to take all their stuff. Trip blade, makeshift, low pressure suit. Oof. Might come in handy. Alright, let's go into here first. Let's explore as much as we can. This looks like one of their camps. <laughs> Ooh, energy cells. Heavy ammo. Alright. Let's start looking around. I know where I have to go. But I want to get as much as you I can. Apply. Don't have anything here. Inventory. All right. So. All right. Um. So this is a pretty good weapon. Knockdown. Bleed. Bleed. I'll put that in there. This thing. Look at that. Let me just... Uh, I could do this. Alright, so, yeah, this is better. But I get more tech skills for this. Lockpick skills, perfect. And determination skills, eh. Alright. Alright, um, 
Alright, we should be good here. Ooh. Ooh, right control. So, alright, let's go in here. Ooh, they have Turkish Delight? At least it kind of looks like Turkish Delight. Looks a little hard though. Mm. Been out for a while. Gourmet, Sultan again. Alright. <clears throat> Here. Um. Ooh, another chest. All right. Once we get. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we. I guess we don't have to buy it. Impact hammer. Ooh. That thing looks good. Alright, hold on. Alright. 142. Look at this thing. Oof. Perfect. Alright, once we get finished looting this village, we'll probably stop the video. Because it's been a pretty long video. Right in here. <laughs> the heck? Alright. Ooh. That's some good stuff. Anything that I can sell. Next house. Evicted. Evicted. Alright, well, we can't go into those houses. And we've already been in the cannery. And this house is evicted. <gasps> Perfect, that's a big thing. I'm guessing that we're gonna get better stuff than this. Actually, we should probably go back. Because I could get some more stuff from the other houses. Alright. If you guys would like to see some Fallout gameplay, then I would love to do that. Jesus, that's so loud. Sentry with saber. Don't need any of this. Evicted. 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 Alright, I'm guessing they're all gonna be evicted. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop the video here. Yeah, they're all evicted. Ooh! This house. And this one. We have to pick a lock for this one. You're fast! Alright. Yes, I am fast. At picking locks. Good stuff. Yes, I know I'm using my interest and my like all my resources on picking the locks, but it's for a good cause. Oh, didn't mean to shoot there. Gotta look this fast.
get into that door. Alright. So, I think we're gonna end it here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah. Anyway, bye!